The European Union and its member states are the biggest contributors to the functioning of the United Nations. We have an important role also via our member states, of course, in the Security Council and in the General Assembly. But for the third time, I can speak on behalf of the European Union in the General Assembly, exposing also what our views are, not only as an institution in Brussels, but speaking on behalf of the 28 member states. And of course, this is a voice that will be heard and is heard. Today, we are in a new situation. The European Union welcomes the diplomatic opening created in order to control and destroy serious chemical weapons. There is no solution for the Syrian uh, crisis than a political solution. There is no military solution for it. And a political solution always needed the framework of the United Nations. And those who are not convinced, they are rediscovering the importance of this organization. Committed over a billion dollars to move the Geneva process forward. I had a meeting now with Ukraine about the association agreement and the deep and comprehensive free trade agreement. We will sign, and we will hopefully sign, in Vilnius. Some benchmarks have to be met, but there is a clear determination from our side, the European Union, and I understood also from the Ukrainian side to go ahead and finally to sign. Of course, all the criteria has, have to be met. Okay, that's two pictures. Africa is important for the European Union for historical reasons, also for reasons simply of neighborhood and vice versa. The European Union is very important for Africa because we are our main commercial partner. Uh, we are providing the biggest amount of development aid. We will organize next year an EU-Africa summit, hopefully with all the heads of state of government of all African countries. So for us, it is a, a key region in the world, very close to us, a very close geographically and very close historically. Leaders of Europe, yeah. <laughs> It was really the first time that we met the new president of Iran and we told him that we appreciated the new tone, the new language used by him and members of his government but in order to rebuild trust, and trust was lacking the last years in the relation between Iran and the rest of the world, in order to rebuild trust, we also need concrete steps, deeds. 
confidence is built on something very, very concrete. And the new president raised expectations.